Hi everyone, my name is Rodney. I'm here with Board Game Geek at FIJ 2020. I've been joined by Jocelyn and Natalie from Come On, and you brought something I think a lot of people are pretty excited to see because this is blowing up on Kickstarter right now. Yeah. And it's a big property. It's Marvel United. I'm a big Marvel fan. So I'm excited we, to see are. what you've got here. You too? Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we are. So you actually have a, a prototype version of the game here for yep. us to take a look at, right? Can you tell us a little bit about how the, the game plays? Well, basically it's a cooperation game, so all the players will act uh, together to uh, counter, uh, counter the uh, action of the super villain. Right. So we have different ones into the, the core box. You have the Red Skull, you have Taskmaster. Which we have here. Yeah, yeah, you can see some of the miniatures here. Yeah. See on screen, we've got... You get uh, Red here. Skull. Yes. And, and Red Skull and here. Tron. Now, is, is somebody controlling this, or is this controlled by the game? No, it's an IA. Okay. So you are right, right. acting, you are acting against the, the game, okay. all together against the game. Right. And it's the game playing the villains. Yes. Okay. And then we get to pick our characters and all that as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Embody yeah. our favorite superheroes. <laughs> which Which one is your uh, favorite? Well, my favorite is Punisher. I haven't seen oh. it uh, show up yet <laughs> in the Kickstarter. I don't know. Maybe after the stream is on, maybe. you can tell me if I might see it or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if I had to pick a second, I would go Captain America. Yeah, oh, you're, you're, you're going far from one to another. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they both have guns <laughs> and wear costumes. Yeah, it's very different though. And we do have Captain America yeah, here, right? Yeah, we do. Yes, Cap is, uh, is in the box. Yeah. So how does the gameplay work? Oh, actually, the, um, all it's set around the uh, concept of a storyline. Okay. So uh, basically, you are a group of uh, Avengers, ob obviously, in, uh, in the core box. Yeah. And you have a storyline uh, so you are playing cards in lines around the, around the table. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Oh, here, right. <laughs> so these will be played around the outside edge of these locations. Is that right? It's, um, yeah. it's uh, all at once. It, it, it isn't linked to the locations. It's really uh, you okay. are telling a story around the, the, oh, the game. So we're each playing in front of us our, exactly. our piece of the story that's yeah. unfolding. Exactly, okay. that's unfolding, okay. like in a river. Right. Right. So the, the villain uh, plays and then we counteract uh, and every three turns right. the villain plays again. Again, okay. Every but three? Every yes. three in the beginning okay. of the game. No matter how many players? Like if <laughs> actually how many players can play? From two to four. Two to four? Okay. Yep. Excellent. And so I'm assuming these different uh, symbols will give us certain abilities that Yeah. Basically you have three different actions oh. you can do uh, during your turn. Mm -hmm. You can uh, either move with this icon, right. you can either uh, punch your right. enemies, yes. and you can do heroic actions. Okay. Yeah, obviously Captain America is very heroic. heroic. Right. Yeah. Um, moving, uh, the action of moving will uh, allow you to uh, go from one location to another. Mm -hmm. If you have many movement uh, icons, you will be able to move multiple from times. Yeah, multiple okay. times. Right. And you have the uh, combat right. uh, icon punch, punch. Yep. to uh, get rid of the thugs and uh, the, the, the lieutenant. Oh, okay. So we have some, uh, some other villains as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. The main villain and then some of his uh, henchmen or whatever. Exactly. Yes. exactly. And uh, you'll be able to, with heroic action to uh, save the, the civils and uh, citizens and uh, accomplish um, generic um, mission to get rid of the threats, threats. In, uh, okay. in, the in the location. And it looks like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we have some spots here, so as we save citizens, they go exactly, exactly. on here? Because uh, you can't go and defeat the supervillain right away when you start the game. So right. you have to uh, accomplish a few uh, missions, goals for mission yeah, search, missions okay. be uh, be uh, before going to uh, face him. Okay. And for that, you have to uh, com complete two, uh, two missions. So either you will rescue okay. civilians, right. or you will defeat thugs, or you will clear threats. So basically, clearing threats will be to uh, accomplish heroic right. actions into the location or get rid of the henchmen. Gotcha. Once you have done, you can go to the same location at the, the, of the supervillain and start him to punch him. Because the supervillain will be marching around as well, in yep. different spots. Mm -hmm. Clockwise. Okay. Yeah. And with the, those cards, the, these cards are from the master plan deck of yes. the supervillain. And uh, when when he plays, you have to move him a uh, number of location indicated by the right, card right. clockwise. Yes. Then he will act sometimes and uh, trigger the effect of his bam. Okay. <laughs> 
his special power? Yeah, for him, for Red Skull, basically his goal is to, uh, uh, you know, bring fear into New York. Right. And uh, so when he is triggering the BAM, he will um, uh, increase the, the fear the on, on the fear track. Right. Once you're up to 20, you're done, right. you're, you're defeated. Okay. The, the heroes are defeated. Right. And after that, he will arrive on some location and maybe add a few more tokens, uh, either thugs or civilians. Gotcha. Okay. And is, is, am I correct? Every uh, superhero has their own unique deck. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. Uh, basically, into the core box, you will have, um, for example, uh, Black Widow uh, will have um, more. If I can just search for it, this uh, this icon, which is a some kind of wild, okay, wild, like wild card, right, yeah, right. Well, Joker, uh, which allows you to play either movement or punch or attack. She's or, very uh, versatile, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And the main, the main uh, aspect of the game is to combine your action with the previous player into the storyline. So basically, okay. if I am Iron Man and Captain Marvel play, uh, played before me, I will have the chance to make a movement and uh, heroic oh, okay. action right. and a punch because she played a punch before me. Okay, so you can you can also do the last action that was played by somebody else. The, the last action. The last action. Because sometimes oh, okay, there is okay. several. Okay, so, okay. for example, if I'm Captain Marvel right. and I'm playing right after I Iron Man, then I will have my Joker action, right. but I can also play oh, Iron Man's previous action. Okay, so this does give, even though it's cooperative, we now have a little more player interaction. We're yeah. planning exactly. out, maybe. Yeah. Are you able to communicate what you have in your hand? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you pick layer cards yeah. and figure it's, what should we do. Uh, it's a very interesting game uh, because it, there is a cooperation within the cooperative game. Right. It's a real cooperation. People are constantly talking about the strategy that they want to, uh, to implement, about what they want to do. Uh, it's one of the most um, communication I've ever seen in a, in a corporate So what, what are the uh, odds of success in the game? Do you find uh, the game, uh, the villain often wins? Is it quite a challenge? Does the challenge uh, change based on the villain? Or We demoed it uh, quite a few times uh, yes. from the start of the weekend and I, I will say it's 50-50. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and already I noticed on the, uh, the Kickstarter there's a variety of additional expansions and things you've already announced, right? To add Four. new villains, new yeah. heroes, mm -hmm. yeah. and then the Punisher and you, hopefully at some point. And, you, time, and you triggers uh, into <laughs> the rules right. <laughs> and you, uh, some uh, some new aspect uh, of okay. gameplays uh, in each uh, extension right. uh, expansion sorry yes uh, for example you have the uh, the expansion for Asgard right. and the super villain is Loki yes. and it brings a kind of preachery tricks into okay. the game so uh, basically Things that yeah. thematically match them yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you very much for giving us a, an overview of this thank upcoming you, game. Thank you for, thank you for yes. having us. And all of you, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>